and 2014, 7.06 p.m. in the afternoon. Good afternoon to all my YouTube fan, Charge Controller fan, Grid Tie fan, Solar Charger fan, and Battery Backup fan. MPPT Charger fan from Intronic, holding strong. Very good, highly recommend. Anyway, as planned, and as stated before, I was going to make my battery box. So, that's my whole grid tie system here. And that's my battery box on it here. Uh, and how, it, how everything is done, this is on wheels. The box is on wheels. The um, rack is bolted to the box. And everything is pluggable. So, this is a 240 volt um, plug that I'm using here. 240 volts, so I could plug everything off if I want. Included the grounds cable, the green wire can be plugged off. Turn the power down, and this whole platform can just push aside. That's how I make it. But anyway, um, but this is my project. Sun is down right now. Finally finished, I'm hungry. But this is my project. As for this one, this is the, uh, the Harbor Freight that I have in here. Didn't get a chance to take it down as yet. I got um, two 600 watt in this one. I'm going to split it in two. Take the Harbor Freight off and put 600 here, 600 here. I got um, three 280 watts panel on this one, which is working quite fine. And I got two... 280 watts panel on this one, which is working quite fine. So that's the meter for this. So I could see my wattage just going in. And um, that's what's going on right now. No charge, sun is going down. I have that one there, that one, I have that one. And these are all Chinese grid tie that everybody hates, but they work perfect. That was our my uh, my cutoff switch from the panels, cutoff switch. This is my disconnect to roll this entire card away. Breaker for this, breaker for this, breaker for this. These two are sharing this one. This one is sharing that one. I haven't purchased a um a um pair of sine wave as yet. Still waiting on that. Still in my favorite. When I get it, it's going to come right here. This is a little light, outside light in here for the time being. But let me show you <coughs> inside my battery box. <coughs> bit hard to open. A little bit too tight. But anyway, um, this is inside my battery box. Right now I have eight golf cart batteries six volt from sam's club they are series parallel and here it is from the charge controller comes in comes right here negative positive these two are tied in series these two are in series then parallel together these two are in series these two are in series and in parallel together. So uh, my positive line is in, in the center. Negatives on the outside. Negatives on the outside. Zero gauge cable I have here for my um, pure sine wave when I get it. As for the cables between the battery, they are double. They are dual four ohm. Sorry, dual uh, four gauge wires. Dual four gauge from negative to positive. Dual four gauge from negative to positive. Dual four gauge to positive to positive. Dual and same across. So I'll dual four gauge. Then I have one big zero gauge from this bank over here. Because I'd run out of four gauge. Comes back over. So right now I'm running this car bar here just to charge my um, 12 volt battery charger. And I punch a hole. That's where the wire comes in. And um, I'm going to put a mesh around here 
to prevent insects from coming through. Likewise, um, um, rest of wire, two more wires are coming in. And those are for the um, pure sine wave. I should say going out for the pure sine wave when I get it. And then uh, the fan. Fan is probably going to be over on this side here. Somewhere. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put the fan, but I'm not worried about it right now. But this is my battery box. <laughs> it's um, capable of holding 12 golf cart batteries. It's built to hold 12. Right now I have 8. But that's my whole project. That's my whole project. And shut it down. Seal it shut. That is my Entronic 75 amp charge controller. Uh, really wonderful units, really nice. Uh, as for the dip switch, yes, I did figure out how to use a dip switch uh, for the adjustment point. And uh, still haven't figured out this windows yet and that one. Um, that is fine. There it is. And like I say, that's the, um, that tells me the amount of watts that's going in here. So far today, I generated um, how many? Um, 8.5 kilowatts today. I generated the battery um, is unhooked to the battery right now. I don't have any load on the battery right now, far from the uh, the thing. But um, what I want to do is get a, a switch, a combine a switch to put from right between here for this and this one because for um 560 watts on this in a split second the batteries are charged and then it goes into a float where you know if, if i'm not here for the rest of the day those solar power just sitting there not 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 doing anything not producing any power because there's no there's no load on it so i want to split that power to this and as i say as for the harbor freight that i'm taking down but as for this, yeah, these are 240 outlets that I use, receptacle I use. And um, if I want, I could just plug it off and roll the card out of the way. Same thing here. Plug it off, roll the card out of the way. My grounds, it's the same. And my cutoff switch. I haven't got a chance to tile out here yet, but we're going to tile all this area. We're going to uh, fence everything. I, I mean, um, and close everything. It's going to be the sunroom, the glass, and so forth and so on. But anyway, YouTube, that's my final project of my um, solar grid tie battery backup system. I got 2,600 watts of solar panel on the roof, excluding the uh, harbor freight, and um, those are grid tying in, and also charging the battery. So, Talk to you again, YouTube. Later.